All right. So what are we doing? Are we connecting to someone specific or? Um, nope. <sighs> okay. I'm going to be difficult. I'm sorry. Yep. That's okay. Uh, it's just not my, it's not, I just started doing it this way. Um, I, connect, like seeing who's around someone and connecting it to them. Um, and sometimes I get a little more than I bargained for because I'll get a bunch of people come in and then it's like, we have to figure out who's coming, you know, what's coming from who. Although I try to stick with one energy, sometimes they'll get interrupted. Um, so I'm just going to say kind of how I work because I realized I didn't do that at all in this video, which I usually do, uh, just so that you kind of get it as stuff's coming in. You'll kind of know how to validate. The last time I tried to do this, I ended up with like five or six people coming forward. So <laughs> just prepare yourself. At this point, anything is possible. Um, so information that comes in can be past, present, or future. It can be symbolic or have multiple meanings. Spirit will sometimes use my references and or experiences or ways that I, I relate to things to try to explain what they're trying to say. Um, so as I get information, just tell me yes and how it makes sense. And that'll help me to continue on with the energy and, and you know, because it'll validate and I'll know I've got the right energy and all that. Um, if it doesn't make sense, just please hang on to it because I usually get everything for a reason. And you might not realize it now or it might be something in the future or um, it might fit someone you're not thinking about at that time. So keep in mind, they do mention people that are still here and are things that are still going on as well as, you know, people with them on the other side, if I don't end up pulling them forward. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, so I keep picking up this, um, it's like a brother energy. I don't know if he's an actual brother or just like a brother or if he's even your brother. Um, but I keep, I keep hearing brother. Does that make sense? Kind of, maybe. Kind of. Okay. Um, it can be, you know, like I said, it, they come in with the connections of how they feel with people. So if it's not a bio brother, it can be a friend that was like a brother or someone, you know, you treated like a brother. Um, do you have a lot of like younger people over there? Like, I get, I'm not getting, like, you know, normally I get, like, the grandparents stepping forward and stuff like that. This I'm getting more younger, your age people that are over there. Um, no. I mean, I I have known several people who have passed, but not, yeah. weren't really closer. You don't have to be close. <laughs> you, don't have to, okay. you don't have to be close for them to be around. If, if they knew you, they knew you. And usually when we know someone, I mean. Because I keep getting these males coming forward. And they're, they're you know, more on the younger side. Um, like I said, anything can happen when we do that, when we go this way. Because uh, it's not as focused. But it's, I'm trying to figure out who that energy is that feels like a brother. But then I, I also keep getting, I keep getting a reference to a, there's an accident, like a car accident. And then I also get a reference to like an OD. Oh, and this doesn't feel family connected. This feels more like acquaintances or. Um, not people that you may have known. <laughs> it's, it's fuzzy. I mean, yes, there are males I've known that have been in car accidents, but it wasn't a brotherly relationship. 
these are i think separate energies separate okay yeah. that's what i'm saying like <laughs> i don't I, okay. I don't when i go like this i don't know they, they just kind of all come in at one time and we just kind of figure out where they go like there is a brother energy that is standing there that it like i said it might be a friend that felt more like a brother does that make sense you yeah have somebody that's over there like that right it can't even be a, a, a family connection, but they're more like a brother, like a cousin that's more like a brother. Like, it's the connection that they bring forward. Like, they felt brotherly. Okay. No, I understand what you're saying, but I can't think of anybody okay. currently. That's all right. <laughs> Unless they're a brother to someone else in your family. Because um, sometimes I get that if they are a brother. And they have siblings, they'll say brother, but not necessarily to you. Um, right. So I don't know. I don't, it seems like you've got some younger people that maybe passed when you were younger, like when you were in school with them or something like that. Like that's how it's coming across. Cause I keep getting a car accident and I keep getting, you know, this other person that's got like an accidental OD. Um, so if you knew anybody like that, just say it and I'll, that way I can just cross them off the list. Okay. Unless they're in the um, chat. Um, no, uh, the, the car accident and um, being in school. Yeah, I, okay. that, yeah. Anybody in the chat have an OD? <laughs> when I open up like this, I don't know. So, okay. Um, Okay, I'm, I'm not getting much else other than the car accident, so I'm just going to try to leave that because I just keep seeing I just keep seeing that specific thing. Yeah, I do. Um, there are several people that come to mind when it comes to car accident. And that's just, you know, unfortunately. trying just trying to weed out all these energies that are kind of there just popping in for their chance to say something huh <laughs> yes because like i'm trying to get away from the car accident but it's it's just there and it's i get like more more than one person involved in this specific one um, like I keep seeing two people in the car at least for one of the car accidents um, but I'm just trying to leave it because I just it feels like everybody's trying to talk at once right now and so like I said I'm trying to weed out and hopefully get to someone that you want to talk to <laughs> Um, I, can give you, I can give you names if that you would can help. give me a name. Like I said, if you want to okay. go direct, we can go direct. <laughs> I can pull direct all day long. But when okay. you just say, let's go whoever, then they just kind of all come up at once. And I don't know who's who sometimes. Like last time we did that, we had a guy. I It was more focused than this. Like I was able to get two of his military, you know, buddies and grandparents and his mom like i was able to separate the energies but right now i'm having a hard time separating the energies because it seems like you had you knew a lot of younger people that have crossed unfortunately yeah. and they're like all just standing there like hey this happened to me tell her i'm here hey this <laughs> happened to me tell her i'm here and that's kind of how it's, it's coming in yeah. <laughs> so yeah if you want to speak to someone directly let's do that <laughs> okay um, how like about to everybody else to step the hell aside? <laughs> that sounds good. Um, okay. how about Don? D O N.
And if you have a picture, that would even make it more direct. Um, I might. If you do, you can just send it to my email. You know what? I actually was going through pictures, so I might have one right here. I don't know if that's good enough. Maybe. I was going to ask you. It's taking a little bit longer. Um, okay, so this I was going to ask you too because I think he was trying to step forward earlier. Um, I know you had a lot of like male energy over there, but he is. <sighs> it's some I just hear a man laughing. Um, so I don't know if this guy liked to have a good time, if he, if he joked around a lot, but he comes across as, you know, laughing. Um, that is true. Okay. So was he like kind of funny? Um, yeah. okay. I feel like he tried to make a joke out of everything. Like even when things were supposed to be serious, he would just make it into something that wasn't serious. Um, yes. Even at awkward moments. Yes. Okay. Um, and he comes across fatherly towards you. So, um, again, that can just be the way that he looks at you or no, I get, that I get my your dad. Yeah. Okay. Cause I was going to say that cause I heard dad earlier when those other guys were coming forward, but then since you weren't connected with any of them, I was afraid to say it cause I was like, is this someone else's dad? Right. <laughs> So, yeah, okay. Got him. All right, we got him. <laughs> Wait. Oh, he says, sorry I'm late, honey. Aw. So, you know, he was trying to, uh, <laughs> trying to get through everybody else. Trying to get through all the boys. Yep. Yeah. Did you, you kind of like have more boy, like you had more guy friends than girlfriends, right? Yes. Okay. Cause that's how, that's probably why there's all the male energy on the other side for you. Um, so he's taking me to a memory. I just keep seeing like a swimming pool and, um, you having like floaties on. And I don't know if he like took you to the pool and there's a specific, like if he taught you to swim or there's a specific memory tied to that. But that's what he's showing me. I can't think of anything. Okay. It comes across, like it comes across the memory. Like I see there's a little girl with floaties on at a pool. So again, I don't know if this was just a, party. They, I don't freaking, I don't know. That's just what he shows me. Um, okay, were you and him, um, I get kind of like a close relationship. I get the this and it's it's like like daddy's girl like you know tight at some point 
Um, yeah. I feel you guys are like really close. And yes. um, I don't know if he ever let you, if he ever did this with you, but you know how sometimes when, when dads dance with daughters and they let them step on their feet, yes. uh, he shows me that. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. okay. That's a big one. And I'm getting chills with that. So I hope that, <laughs> hope that means a lot because he came in strong with that. Um. He also keeps showing me, I don't know why he keeps showing me this wedding. Um, I don't know if it has to do with someone got married after his passing or before his passing or where the, there's a, there's a wedding that's, that seems to be significant or someone's going to get married. Um, I just keep seeing all the wedding stuff. Nobody has gotten married um, since his passing, but. I was recently going through my own wedding photos. Okay. Okay. Was he there or? Yeah. Okay. So you were recently going through your, your own wedding photos. Okay. So that's just his way of letting you know that he was, cause I was seeing like snippets of the wedding. So that uh -huh. would make sense. Um, so he's just letting you know that he was there with you when you were going through the wedding photos. Okay. Um, so did you guys, like when you were younger, ever have these moments where it was like, we're gonna eat a bunch of junk and watch movies? Like I keep getting like ice cream and cookies and just like, it's like a little kind of party that you guys had. Um, we did not. No. You didn't? No. Why is he showing me that? <laughs> He is. He's like showing me ice cream and cookies and stuff. And I get a reference to like watching movies. He was known to sneak his grandchildren ice cream, bars, cookies. Okay. I'm glad you could validate that because I, he was making me feel like I was going to look crazy. Um, but did you guys have like a movie night or did he have a movie night with his grandkids? There's, it just feels connected. Um, no, there were no movie nights. Um, he, no. He would seclude himself in his room and the kids would sneak in sometimes and watch TV with him, but it wasn't like a movie night. Like, well, hey, yeah, but, well, see, it's, how, but, it's how we relate to the, to the information. So I'm just being shown movies on TV. Okay. So yep. I took it as a movie night because of the the ice cream and cake, like it all came in together. So basically he's showing me things that he did with his grandkids. Yes. Okay. Um, Sorry, I feel like I'm bad at this. No, it's okay. You're good. <laughs> it's just, like I said, they, they will show me things and I have to try to figure out why they're showing them to me. And sometimes... Like I will, it's all on how I perceive it. So if the things come in together like that, it seems like they would be doing that together, but it's actually, he's bringing it in together, but they're doing it separate, but it has to do with his grandkids. You understand? Right. So, okay. He's just a little kind of all over the place still. He'll get there. Um, okay. So he kind of comes across as, um, I don't know how to put this being kind of like different, like two people, like he had this really, like he was happy go lucky, like we said, kind of joking and stuff, but then he, he was also kind of this quiet recluse almost would go through bouts of maybe almost like depression. I don't know if it was depression, but you know what I mean? Like he was, he is two different people. Yes. Okay. And he was also a Gemini, so. That makes sense. That very much for Geminis, yes.
Yeah, he does. <laughs> it's funny because it feels like like he has a lot. He has a lot of love for you. Like, like he beams with pride for you for some reason. I mean, also, you know, he's your dad, obviously, but there's just you guys had this really special bond and really special connection. And he sees like well, the things that you've done in your life and the things that you're doing in your life. And he's like, that's my girl. Like, I don't know if he ever told you that, but that's he's like, that's my girl. Um, so was he, did he stay with you for a period of time? We have lived with him off and on, and we were in the process of moving back in with him. Okay. Because I just saw you guys like being in the same house and, um, but it was almost like a back and forth kind of thing was the way it was coming across. But <laughs> he's kind of being funny right now. He's like, I couldn't get, I couldn't get away from them if I tried. Like, <laughs> he always offered. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like he, he just had to be, you know, he had to be with you guys. Yeah. That's just. He couldn't stand being like without you guys. I don't know. Um, he just made his life like, you know, happier. <sighs> Um, I don't really know. Let's see. He's, I'm getting, okay. So I'm getting kind of a headache and he kind of is talking about the brain. Um, like I, I, does that make sense? Cause I, I'm getting, um, there's a reference on my chest, but then there's also a reference in my brain and I'm getting, uh, I'm getting a headache as I'm talking about that, but the headache and the chest make sense, yes. Okay. Um, but do you know why he would highlight where why he would highlight the brain for me? The brain, no. Okay. Other than just the headache. Yes. Hmm. It's weird. Because usually like when they highlight the brain, it means it means a couple things. It's usually like neurological or blood clot or stroke or something like that. Um, usually brain related. Sometimes it can even be like dementia or something, but, um, that's a no. Right. I don't know. I don't know why he's highlighting the brain. Cause he's, he's adamant about highlighting the brain. And this is something we don't know about, but, um, okay. That is possible. Sorry, sometimes they get me stuck on something and it's like they'll keep doing it until it's till we make sense of what it is. Um, do you know why he would be going? Uh, where he'll be going like this with like his hands. So I don't know. Um... I think there was some poor circulation and then he Okay, would... that's what yeah. it feels like in this hand. Like my hand is falling asleep literally right now. I don't know why he's doing that to me. That's not cool. Um, because he's going like this, like trying to get circulation back in the hand. So that makes sense because his hand is literally falling asleep right now. And did he have like heart issues? No. Because, okay, well, there's something with... Me losing, like, this whole arm, like, now I've lost circulation in this arm. Um, no heart issues that we know of, but um, circulation was something that was, like, okay. always so, kind of. So I'm wondering if he had it in this arm specifically, because this is the heart arm. That's why I asked. Um, I freaking know. Uh, he could give me the, the feeling back in my arm now, though. I've never had that. I've never had that happen before, like where my arm literally fell asleep. That's not cool. Uh, <laughs> I've never had that before. Okay. Um, I'm 
wondering if there is some things that maybe he didn't even know about. Okay, I'm getting, like, games and puzzles. Um, so I don't know if he did this when he was, when you were younger, if he did any of this stuff with his grandkids. Um, and puzzles can be, like, any kind. Like, um, they could be the puzzles you put together. It can be, like, word search puzzles, like, those kind of things. Um, and I don't know if there's just a specific memory that he's hooking, with, that he's bringing in with it, but... Uh, getting the reference to um, I feel like I'm playing a game and like it gets kind of loud because like uh, you know one of the kids won or something I don't know it comes across as being like a very fun night um, I don't know if this is just something that he did with you guys or them um, poker Poker, if it's okay. Games, it might be poker. Yeah, because I it, and it, but I feel like he gets loud. Yes, he okay. would get really loud. Okay, it's weird because like whenever they do games for me, sometimes sometimes they will show me card games, and then sometimes they'll show me regular games. So, I mean, okay, okay. no puzzles, no board games. It was it was cards. Okay, so because I hear him get like super loud. Oh yeah. Uh, kind yeah. of thing. Uh, all right. He's not that great at showing me things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's showing them to me, but he's not like he's using. Like he could have showed me cards instead, which normally they do, but he showed me games. So. <laughs> Um, so he comes ac across this kind of goofy, um, in different ways, but also I think he was pretty intelligent. Um, he comes across super smart and I think a, a time in his life, like, uh, I'm trying to get what kind of work he did. It's. He was good at whatever it was, if that makes sense. Yes. Um, I want to say some, some sort of business. This is the way it comes in. But um, very, I mean, I think he really liked what he did. And he was good at it. And... You know, he kind of made a career out of it, basically, um, for as long as he worked. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. He was a truck driver for a small local business. Okay. There's the business. Okay. Makes sense. But I feel like he was even smarter than that. You know? And I don't know if it's just street smarts. It might just be street smarts. Like, he knew, like, little things. Um, he did. Yes. That he would pass on to you that are like street smart stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. Did he ever give you pepper spray or something like that along the lines or teach you how to defend yourself? I I keep getting like I had I had a talk with her pepper spray or something along that line. He did not. The, where is the pepper spray coming in at? But he has other daughters, so maybe it was with them. Okay. I don't know. It's someone he had to talk about defend, you know, protecting them, defending themselves. Um, so if you ever find out where that comes in, let me know. Because it's going to kind of drive me crazy. <laughs> okay. Because, um... And it might have been someone that was put in, like, 
different circumstances that you weren't, you know, that he was trying to teach. Because uh, yeah. I, I keep getting reference to like, you know, giving giving my daughter like it's something to defend herself, like a pepper spray that she carries on her key ring, like that kind of thing comes in. Um, which is weird because I've never gotten that in a reading before, but. Okay, and so the month of July and the month of April come in. Um, months can be birthdays, passing, passings, anniversaries, or anything significant connected to you, him, or anyone connected that's alive or past. So it's kind of broad, but um, those two months. April, yes. Okay. Um. Three of his four children are April babies. April. Okay. So it, that's a big one. Okay. July. I can't think of anything offhand. Okay. Um, that's fine. I heard it like July, April. So I don't know. So, um, with this whole circulation thing, it's kind of bugging me because it's coming back around as to contributing to some of the stuff that he had that led up to his passing. Does that make sense? Um, I think it, he, the way he brings it across, it makes me feel like it contributed, but maybe you guys didn't know it contributed. Um, it may have been something that he dealt with, okay. but I really doubt it, uh, contributed to what happened. Okay. I don't know why he keeps, he keeps bringing up the circulation thing and not only circulation, but like, bl like blood related, yeah. uh, like something in the, the bloodstream, um, I don't know. Normally I can get people's passings, but he's just not. But I keep getting, he's bringing up like these struggles with some things. Um, that other side of him that would, you know, go into like a depressed kind of mood. Um, I keep getting the struggles around that. Um, yeah, okay, I think I know what that might be. Okay. Um, he was very family oriented, and then two of his children moved halfway across the country. Okay. That see, that's why he keeps bringing up like the family and the kids and the stuff, and like wanting to live with you and all that. And then yeah. he tells me like he like had struggles, and it would bring on a little bit of depression. Um, yeah, so that makes sense. Because I, because again, that always that keeps coming in about him being so family oriented. Mm -hmm. You know, and he was a provider. He comes across as a provider. Like, yeah, he would provide everything for his kids. And if he had his last dollar and one of his kids wanted his last dollar, he would get his last, he would, you know, he would give him his last dollar. That is um, very true. It was like, he, he never said no. That um, is it was question. sort of a problem. I, I never said no to anybody. Um... He says that my kids were my everything. And that goes with kids, grandkids, everybody. Um, yeah. 
they do keep getting this chest of labored breathing coming in as well. Um, so it's more lungs, I guess, because of the breathing. It's like, ugh, I'm having a hard time breathing. Um, yes, that makes sense. He had COPD and he right. passed from um, compressional asphyxiation. Okay. So I'm wondering if that goes with the head as no, less oxygen to the brain. Okay. Um, that might be why he was highlighting the brain for me. And I don't know if that's what causes the headaches. You know, because when you can't breathe right, you don't have a lot of oxygen. It, right. it, and I feel it kind of did. I don't know if it made him light, lightheaded with it at all. Um you know, or dizzy, because I know when you don't have a lot of oxygen. Well, when he, um, when he passed, he was at work and he was truck driving. He was dumping a load at a farmer's field mm -hmm. in his truck and the load tipped. So his truck went over and a fence post went through the window and um, bumped him in the head and then pinned him. Oh, okay. That might have been the accident I was getting, but I thought it was a car. It could have been, yes. Uh, there's yeah. lots of accidents in yeah. family um, history. <laughs> okay, but that's why I'm wondering if there wasn't something that... Because this arm keeps going numb. So I don't know if it happened when he was driving or there's something, you know, that led up to that accident happen because it feels like it's something medically involved with the accident happening. Okay. That's why that's coming in. Because um, my hand is still numb and my arm is still asleep. For whatever reason. So I don't know if he used to... I feel like he used to lose feeling in his hand a lot. But I don't think he wanted to worry anybody. Because... It's only... I mean, he point. never... Yeah, he never said anything about it. But I, I mean, I would yeah. notice him doing that with his hands and... He didn't Being want to. Cold. He didn't want to worry anybody with that. But I, it feels like there was something that led up to this. And also, when it comes to, you know, any kind of head injury, that's going to include the brain. So okay. that would be another reason why he was. That's why he kept bringing up chest and brain. So that makes sense now. Um. Because I was trying to get him to show me what happened, and he, like, didn't want to show me. And I think maybe he's, he kind of feels like it was, like, stupid, kind of, um, um, the way yes. that it all happened. And yes. um, the wind knocked his truck over, and he right. hit the only fence post that was there. Right. So he wasn't, like, wanting to show me what happened because he's not... <laughs> He's like a very proud man, and yes. it's he, when he looks back at like this, it's just so he may have been the accident because I just kept hearing accident and like hearing um hearing like metal. That's what I kept hearing. That's what my yeah. accident was for. So it was probably him. We just weren't putting it together. Okay. Um, and I think that. I don't know. It's almost like he had some kind of something happen like right before this. It's the way it comes across. So. I don't really know what he means by that. I don't know if like he had like something really medical happen, you know, and then that's why this happened. Like it kind of comes, it kind of comes across that way in the As way that he's medical? saying it, you know. Um, I mean, he did have. It wasn't. It was probably six months before, but he did have a biopsy, a lung biopsy that came back clear. And the doctors, I guess, called him an anomaly because they didn't know what it was. 
but they weren't doing any more testing. They weren't doing anything. So. I still think, um, I still think he had heart issues that, and that's what was wrong with the circulation. Cause that's coming in really strong about the circulation in the heart. And it is my, it's my left arm that has to do with my heart. And I don't know if he didn't tell the doctors or the doctors did it. You know what I mean? They didn't check it, yeah. but it feels like the, the heart and the, um, circulation issue is like running together for me for some reason um, because he keep, he's really keeping this arm asleep which is my heart arm so I can't I can't get away from it I think that he was starting to have some kind of something um, I don't think he took that great care of himself uh, like I don't think he like ate really good and he didn't um you know, he hated going to the doctor. Um, he doesn't, yep. he talks about not, not taking care of himself and he didn't like anybody doting over him or, you know, worrying about him. And I don't, I feel like he kept a lot from you guys about what he was, what was going on with his body and what he felt because he didn't want you guys to worry. And then he didn't want people to be like, okay, you need to go to the doctor. You need to do this, you need to do that. And yeah. maybe I can't work anymore and I'm the provider and I'm a very proud person. And so that's, that's like all the thoughts he's running through my head. And all um, of that. Right. Especially because my husband was diagnosed with a terminal illness a year before he started to okay. go to the doctor. So keeping it to himself, not wanting us to worry. Yeah. Makes it that sense. makes sense. Yeah, and like my my neck and my throat is hurting right here now too, um, for some reason, um, which would make sense with an accident, anyways. But um, yeah, he just I felt like there was some things that he was feeling, and he just didn't want to say anything. He didn't want to go to the doctor, and yes. He didn't want to be laid off of work for anything either. Because I think that's a past physicals, don't they? Yes. Or something like that? Yeah. Okay. Um, but it feels like there was something that happened before that moment. I'm not really getting what it is. Um, did he have... Any of you, like, I don't know if it's your picture or his grandkids' picture. I see the picture, a picture that he had with him. I don't know if it was in his truck or in his wallet. Um, I feel like there's one, like, right where he could see in his truck. That I don't know. I okay. don't know. He might have. Because he liked, <laughs> it's okay. He liked to take his family with him. And it, it makes me feel like there's a picture. I think it's of you. It's of a child. And um, I keep seeing it, like, maybe it's, like, one of your kid pictures or something. But I keep seeing it, like, you know, where he could see it. Like, where his gauges and stuff were. I keep seeing that. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if he just, why he showed me that. But he's showing me he had pictures with him. So, again, I don't even know if he had any in a wallet that he carried. But, um he did have um, pictures around his bed and stuff. Um, oh, okay. And he did have pictures of me younger um, and all of the, all the kids he had. Yeah. Okay. So it was more like in his bedding area then? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. But I still think there's one like that was on his, like his dash or something. Because it keeps saying I'm looking at it. And at that moment that this happened, like, that was one of the last things he looked at and the thoughts that kind of went through his head. Um, I hadn't been in his truck, so it's very possible. Okay. Um, so he want he wants you to know that like there was no pain in that. Like his his soul left before his his body felt it. Um, 
So I don't know if maybe you had wondered. He just wants you to know that, you know, it was quick and he didn't feel anything. He didn't suffer. Um, he um, says, I, I think it's important that my family knows that because I think a lot of times maybe you think it'll just pop in your mind or maybe it did back then. You know, I wonder what he went through. Or I wonder how he felt. Um, and, yeah, that's a lie. Yeah, I know. It's it's always hard when it comes to accidents. I, I know that feeling. So he just, he just wants you to know that he was okay. It was like this, like a snap of a finger. He was here. The truck started to go, and then he was out of his body. And um, I think he was meant – do you know if he's got a mother figure on the other side? Mother figure means mom, grandma. He does, yes. Okay. I feel like he was met by a mother figure. Um, somebody he's really close to comes across as being really – is it a grandmother or mother? Um, It could be both. Okay. His mother and also my like, mother. Okay. Um, that makes sense because it – it's kind of picking up like just all this mother, like grandmother and mother energy around him. And they were, I feel who met him. Um, there's also a dog that's jumping around him. And I don't know if it's from you guys or it's from his when he was younger. There's a little dog jumping around at his feet. Um, jumping up and down. That's what he shows me. It looks brown. A smaller yeah. dog. Okay. Yeah, I know that dog. Okay. So that dog is around him. And he just wants you to know he has that dog. And, um, he says the biggest thing is I need I need my family to know that I love them. He's like, I know that I this was very unexpected and this is never what we wanted and what we had planned for and um, I wanted to, I want my kids and my grandkids to know that I'm okay and that I love them. Um, he, he keeps call, calling someone his baby girl. So I don't know, are you, who's the baby? Um, I feel like these are all trick questions. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just hear him say baby girl, so that makes me think of unless he called one unless he called one of you guys baby girl. Um he would use it with multiple with all his of daughters, you. his granddaughters, yeah. Okay. Um so that's just a term that he used that he's just using to validate, I guess. I was thinking sometimes it'll when they say that I wanna go to the baby of the family Ooh, and sometimes yeah. they say it. So um it was a common it's phrase. It's how we interpret it. Um, uh, so I don't want to get personal or anything, but he says he says things have been kind of tough for you since his passing. Um, yeah. And it's been like a huge struggle. Uh, yeah. Not just with his passing, but I feel like there's other things. Does that make sense? That's yes. going on in your personal life. Um, he just says it's going to be okay. Um, he says, I know that's easy for me to say. But I need you to know that it's, it's going to be okay. You're going to get through it. He says that you're very strong. And he says you're one of the strongest, actually. I feel like you've gone through the... There were a lot of different trials and tribulations, and you've always kind of come out. You haven't given up. So he says that you have his strength. And I feel like you might be most like him. Yes. In Makes sense. That way. Okay. Um, he talks about... I don't know if there was a, there was a conversation. It's like a week or two before his passing. Um, that I think he either had with you or someone. And it was like a deeper conversation than normal. Um, 
I don't know if it was like along the lines of if I'm not here or something like that was said. Um, it was almost like a preparation. Like his soul knew and he was like preparing whoever he was talking to. It was not a conversation with me. Okay. Um, or did he, he never had one of those conversations where he's like, one day when I'm not here anymore or anything like that? Because that keeps coming up. Um, he, yeah, in the past he had, he, he had mentioned stuff. Well, he was actually um, working on getting his will put together. Okay. That's what it is. That's what it is. And then the conversations that he has. So he, on a soul level, he knew. And he was trying to prepare you and prepare everybody else and prepare things. Yeah. Um, okay. That's what it is then. And is this mostly uh, girls in the family? Yes. I pick a lot um, of female energy up. Technically, all of his kids are girls. Um, he did adopt my oldest brother. It's not biologically his, yeah. but he raised him. All he had was girls, though. So. Right. Okay. So that's what I'm getting is the bio. Like, I just keep getting girls, daughters. Like, yeah. He all was my girls. girls. Yeah. All, yeah. All my girls. My girls. Um, yeah, he just, he, he wants you to know it's going to be okay. Um, cause I feel like he's like really concerned about you right now just cause of all the stuff that's going on and this stuff, um, He's like, you're strong. You can do it. And you feel like the, you, I don't know if you're middle or older. Or you're just, your energy is like an older sister. Um, but you come across as being very well put together. Very, uh, very much the oldest sister. Are you the oldest sister? If you're not, you like to act like the oldest sister. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not the oldest sister. Actually, between him and my mom, I'm the baby. Okay. But, but um, Wait, you're the baby. Remember I said, who's the baby? No, 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 no. Between him and my mom, <laughs> I'm the baby. Mm -hmm. But between him and somebody else, I'm the middle. Right. Because so. what I was struggling with was I kept getting middle and older. Yeah. So I was getting your middle, but then you act... <laughs> I feel like you act older. I'm more like put you act like the older, older sister. sister. <laughs> yeah, you act like the older sister. Um, and that's just because of your mentality. Like, I, I feel like you, I don't know how to put this. Like, you just, you're really grown up. And you try to help everybody else in the family. You try to act like the older one. You try to put things in order. Like that's just your personality. So that's why I was struggling. Like, is she older or where the heck is she in this? Because I kept getting middle, but then it was like you were acting older. So now I know why I was getting both. Yeah. Um, No, I think the baby girl was actually because of his turn, the baby girl. I was just giving you a hard time. Um, yeah, so he just, he says kiss his grandkids for him. He misses them. They made him feel young. You know, they made him feel young at heart. Do you know if there is a cross by where that accident was? I I don't know. There could be. I haven't been out there. Okay. Um, but it is very possible. Okay. Because I just keep seeing one with some flowers around it. Yeah. I, um, I memorial. Yeah. His, um, his sister doesn't live 
too too far from where it happened and she said that she was always going to make sure something was there so. okay okay because he's just validating the memorial But is there, I feel like there's something. Do you know if his work did anything for him? Um, They helped cover part of the cost of the funeral. Okay. And they're just, he's just talking about his work and um, taking care of something. So. You talk to him? Yes. Because he says he hears you. So I feel like in those times when you need him the most, just keep talking to him because he's hearing you. And he's trying to help you from the other side. I hear I love you too. So I don't know if you – it's like I hear you say I love you, Daddy, and then I hear him say I love you too. Um, so that's just him. I don't know if you've said that recently, but – that's him replying. Okay. Um, and he says, I'm going to always be here. He says, I, I, you know, I might not be there physically, but I, I'm always here. I'm never going to leave you. Um, and he just keeps taking me back to the vision of you dancing on his feet, like standing on his feet dancing. He keeps yeah. taking me back to that vision as like, it just, it's just one of the moments that, you know, he really, really loved and enjoyed. Um, I'm trying to see if he has anything else he wants to say. Um, keep getting flowers laid down but I don't I don't know that I don't know if that goes back to the memorial where someone laid flowers there or if it had something to do with his funeral um, but I keep seeing like yellow flowers being laid down um, I'm not sure. You know that song, you know that song, Butterfly Kisses? Have you ever heard that song? Yes. Okay, so that song is he's relating that to you. Um and I think he even since you said he was at your wedding, it kind of makes sense. Uh, especially since he brought that up that he was there when you were going through the wedding pictures. Um So he just says, I just need, I just, please, please just tell him I love him. I love him so much. So I hope that this is helpful to you once we figure out what he was trying to say. <laughs> yeah, no, it was. Yeah. Right. Right. yeah. Um, you know, sometimes it's, it's like I said, it's all in how we interpret it. So once we figure out why they're saying what they're saying, it makes sense. But right. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully it was helpful to you. Um, it was. I appreciate your time so much. You're welcome. Have a good night. You yeah, you too. It's good to meet you. Yep. Bye. Bye.